Hi, this is Ilma Art Studios photograph for today. That is a beautiful um, car show that I took pictures of in one of our festivals here in Orangeville. Uh, it was a jazz festival, but they had the cars right on the street for people to appreciate and, you know, like this vintage cars. Hi, check my website at ilmaarts.com for more artworks and photographs. Today I'd like to share Romans 5 verse 6. It says, When we were utterly helpless, Christ came at just the right time and died for us sinners. Here's my poem. Perfect timing. Do you ever know someone who's got perfect timing? Is this person always timely to aid your suffering? When we were utterly helpless and needing help, he died for us so he can pick us up and give us strength. Christ chooses the perfect time and place. He showers with bless us with blessings. I'm sorry, he showers with blessings all of human race. Are we blocking his perfect timing and his path? Are we cooperating with God's one and only Son? Here's my essay. Timing is crucial in many things in life. The birth of a child, marriage, move to a new home, new job, new community, and many more are just some of the events or changes that can benefit with perfect timing. Sometimes our drive or obsession to get something or to embrace something new can be so powerful that we lose out on choosing the best time to do so. Another thing that can impede our triumph over some dreams or goals is the fact that our plans do not jive with God. what God intends for us. Who can better know and see what is good for us but our Heavenly Father? Christ had perfect timing when we were so desperate, helpless, and almost hopeless. He died for us. So we can be free and live an abundant life. Prayer. Lord, I'm so grateful. I'm sorry. Lord, I'm so grateful for all your perfect timing to bring joy, healing, and peace in my life. Reflection. How can we miss out on Christ's perfect timing? Um Ambition could be one of the reasons how we can miss out on perfect timing, on Christ's perfect timing. Because when we aim to get something right away and we have our own timeline, then we could miss out on um, what God is really trying to do in, in our lives. Another um, impediment to perfect timing, for, to Christ's perfect timing, could be pride. If we think we know it all and we do everything in our own effort without relying on God, then that could stop us or it, we could hinder what God is doing in our life. Stubbornness is another um, impediment of, to Christ's perfect timing because when Christ is trying to, or when, when Christ or God is trying to teach us something, um, or convict us something in our lives so that we can grow and we we um, defy it or we don't accept it and we just want to stubbornly do our own uh, thing, our own ways, then that could impede the, uh, Christ's perfect timing. Another impediment of uh, Christ's perfect timing would be idolatry. When you are so busy idolizing something, someone, a career, or your relationship, or um, when, when you put something first rather than God, you are, um, you are sinning. Um, you are idolizing that thing or that someone. So that you could miss out on God's per, Christ's perfect timing when you are uh, so busy um, idolizing or adoring something as, apart from God.
So these are the only ways that you can miss out on God's perfect timing. But why is it very important for us to believe? And I've told you all the impediments that could stop you from um, um, Christ's perfect timing. But um, one of the ways that you could allow Christ's perfect timing to uh, happen in your life is to have trust or faith. Um, even if you don't see and you continue to believe that Christ um, has your your back covered or is there for 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 your good, then you will be able to allow and uh, have the wisdom and discernment to understand why things happen the way they do. Sometimes God delays something because he has something else for us or God says no to something because he's trying to protect us. So thanks for watching and I hope you check my website at ilmaarts.com for more artworks and photographs. Have yourself a wonderful day and remember that God loves you so much and so do I.